Tropics Weather Forecast. Hey there, good morning to you. We are tracking some rain on the radar. It looks like a whole lot more than what it actually is out there. Uh, not all of this green is rain. At least not rain that's hitting the ground. Some of it is some spotty drizzle around the area, but when I say around the area, I mean around the Chris 6 viewing area. Not all too much of this is actually in the coastal bend. So let's take a closer look, mainly in our northern communities where a lot of this is going to skirt by today. Maybrush areas such as Beeville, Three Rivers, you're getting one little shower right now. And at times where you see these darker shades of green, yellow, and orange, that's where we have heavier downpours, but these are very quick moving showers, so I don't really anticipate too much in terms of rainfall accumulation but a little bit of a wet commute for you all out there. Beeville, you're getting a break, but uh, wouldn't be surprised if you get brushed by this little shower moving by or maybe just to the north of you by Pettis. So our southern communities, Freer, you've been getting a little bit of a shower so far this morning and some of this now trailing south of Alice between Premont and Alice there along 281. So it could be a little bit of a wet commute for you as well if you're taking that commute this morning, but the better rain chances are going to be to our north still. We'll have that opportunity for a passing shower. Beeville, you've got the chance of an earlier start because some of those showers are already so close to you. If one brushes by as we go through the mid morning hours, don't be surprised by it. But the bulk of our rain chances lie during the afternoon hours, say between about lunchtime and the ride home. So you'll want to leave home with a rain jacket just in case. It's going to be one of those situations where if you don't, if you don't bring the rain jacket, you're going to get soaked. If you do bring the rain jacket, you probably won't see any rain. Take it anyways, you'll be happy you did. But those rain chances are really going to be for just an isolated shower, maybe a scattered one moving by very quickly, and I don't think it'll drop a whole lot of rain, even if we do see a little bit of a heavier downpour at a time. May hear a rumble of thunder this afternoon, but uh, that's because it's so warm out there. A lot of buoyancy, a lot of unsettledness in our atmosphere. That's what humidity does. So we're in the neighborhood of 70 degrees all across the coastal bend with a few cooler spots inland, but the wind, that is going to take center stage for our forecast. So poor Roxy, this picture was taken on the beach and she was fighting a bit of a breeze there. She's going to have a little bit of a tough time today too, but she's a tough pup. She can persevere. Here's a look at that dog walking forecast for today, warming up to those middle 70s by the mid morning hours. And yep, those shower chances kicking in for the afternoon. But look at this wind sustained in the 20 mile per hour range. We'll see our winds from the southeast. 20 to 30 miles per hour. I think those gusts will be a bit higher. We're likely to see gusts around 35 miles per hour throughout the afternoon as those winds really kick up again from the southeast. So it's a humid and warm direction for us. We'll likely push our temperatures around 80 degrees. Now upstairs in the atmosphere, because we don't have a lot going on here at the ground level, right? Aside from a little bit of rain. That rain is being caused from what's going on upstairs. So high pressures over us, but going through today, notice as this little blob forms, this is energy above a wrinkle. You could say in the atmosphere that will help to trigger some of those showers that we see today, but we're going to have intermittent opportunities for showers throughout the week. Today is one of them Friday night ahead of a cold front and some showers on Sunday.